with Go Green Solar Solutions in Westlake Village, California has over 40 years of experience in solar electricity, solar pool heating, and radiant heat. We are your one-stop solar shop. This procedure deals with high voltages, breakers, and fuses are components that are normally serviceable by homeowners. But if you are not comfortable performing the work as described, please call us at 805-497-9808 to schedule a service call. Go Green Solar Solution does not accept any liability for these directions or work performed by a person not employed by Go Green Solar Solutions. Hi, this is Greg Johansson from Go Green Solar Solutions. Today we're going to show you how to reset your inverter and change your fuses and get your system up and running again. These instructions are for the SMA inverters manufactured before 2007. You can verify the manufacturing date by looking at the label on the bottom right side of the SMA inverters. Follow these instructions if you see no lights on the front of your inverter. If you see the FAC BFR error code or if the GFCI error code hasn't gone away when you knock twice on the inverter cover. First, let's make sure the AC breaker for your solar system isn't just tripped in your main electrical panel. Go to your main electrical panel. It should have a red PV label on the outside and inside. Open the panel and locate the AC breaker labeled PV or solar system. Turn the solar AC breaker off, then turn it all the way on again, making sure it's fully on. Now check your inverter to see if the green light is on and blinking. If so, you're set. After 5 or 10 minutes, the light should be solid green. If the green light is still not on, let's reset the inverter to factory settings. Turn the AC breaker labeled PV or solar system in your main electrical panel to the off position again. Locate your wall mounted AC disconnect switch. It's located on the house between your main electrical panel and your inverter and flip the handle to the down position. Then turn off the inverter's DC disconnect switch. This is the two inch round switch at the bottom of the inverter. Rotate the switch to the horizontal off position. Wait 10 or 15 minutes for the capacitors in the inverter to discharge. Turn everything back on again. The DC disconnect at the bottom of the inverter, the AC disconnect switch, and finally the PV system breaker in the main electrical panel. This will reset your inverter to the factory settings and may clear any error codes. If the green light is still not on, let's move to changing the AC disconnect fuses. If the green LED light on the inverter still doesn't appear, the next step is to change the fuses in the AC disconnect. Turn the AC breaker labeled PV or solar system in your main electrical panel to the off position again. Turn off the AC disconnect switch and turn the DC disconnect switch, the big round button at the bottom of your inverter, to the horizontal off position. Wait 10 or 15 minutes for the capacitors in the inverter to discharge. Open the wall mounted AC disconnect switch and remove the two AC fuses. Purchase the same size and type of replacement fuses from the local hardware store or Home Depot. Get four fuses so you have a couple spares. This will save you a trip in case this happens again. Do not mix the old fuses with the new fuses. Make sure you replace all of the fuses. Double check to see that everything is still in the off position. Replace the fuses in the AC disconnect and close the cover. Twist on the inverter's DC disconnect switch. Again, it's the two inch round switch at the bottom of the inverter. Flip the handle up on the AC disconnect switch. Finally, in the main electrical panel, flip the breaker label PV or solar system back on in the main electrical panel. You'll see the inverter start up again and you should see a blinking green LED light. Wait 10 minutes and the light should be steady green. While the inverter goes through its safety check, clean out the two intake fan screens at the bottom of the inverter with a dry paintbrush and moist paper towel. You'll add 10% more power to your system by cleaning these intake fans twice a year when you clean your solar modules. Wipe the dust off the top of the inverter. Remember May is yearly module cleaning month for 10% additional power. Check the inverter to see that the green light is on. A blinking green light means that the inverter is getting ready to start, should be 10 minutes or so. The orange or red light means that there's still a problem with the solar system. Write down any error codes that you see. Check the inverter display to see that the inverter error code has been eliminated. You should see the typical LCD display showing the solar system voltages and power output. 
Congratulations, you've just changed your fuses. If the green light does not appear blinking or solid, or the error code is still on the display, please call us at 805-497-9808 to set up a phone appointment with one of our technicians.